Last year on 2K24, I wagered and played the number one ranked player in the entire game at that time. He later became the first legend and we won that. But unlike that wager, we're not going off who's number one in this category. Right now it's hacked by the way. We're going off a better way to show who's good at the game, which is the Proving Grounds record. You see right now, I'm 34 in the world in 2v2 Proving Grounds, 115 wins out of 123 games. So I'm 115 and eight. But if you go over to season rankings, over to 2v2, Chalk YT is the number one ranked player in the game. He's got a crazy logo over his head, but if you guys don't know who he is, he's on Joe Knows Pro Am team, the first legend in 2K20, and also put up insane numbers in the 2K League over 40 points per game and over 20 assists per game. We matched up in the Basketball Gods event that is going on right now in this event center. He had a sweaty team, obviously, because he was trying to win it. This was the first day. So drop a like and let's get into it, man. Hopefully, we can win this one as well. Real quick, guys, Prize Picks is back and putting in $5 gives you $50 to play with instantly. On top of that, there's a special where if Caleb Williams passes for one yard in his next game, you will win on his square. And of course, guys, that's all with my link in the description. But let me show you all how to play NFL, WNBA, MLB, whatever you want to do. The NBA is not back, but it's coming back soon. And you can do anything passing yards, rushing yards, receiving yards. But let me show you how easy it is. So, Patrick Mahomes, 269 passing yards. If you think he's going to do more, you hit more. Let Less, you hit less now you guys are also going to have that caleb williams special so that's it but let me just show you because you would have two and you only need two to win three times back your money guys i'm telling you you're going to have that caleb williams special and then just get one more right and you can win link in the description thank you prize picks for sponsoring this video all right y'all like i said we did match up during the basketball gods event it had just started like an hour or two before so you know his first round in here is with a sweaty team i got bauer and Surzen. bauer is also on joe knows pro am team you see chalk is a starter four. He's got his cat breakers. He's got the new animations. His lofts a starter two. His centers a starter three. I'm on my five foot nine though. I told you guys, I really play on this build. It was not a joke. He's on a six foot three that is very well rounded. It's got defense. It can shoot. It can dribble. And they're going to start off with ball. But of course, I'm going to put Bauer onto chalk because his build is a lockdown. And first play of the game, they're going to try to backdoor me, but I jump and get the stop. They get a rebound. And look what chalk does. We got to go and slow motion fade away hand up bowers there on a lockdown and he greens the shots that was probably a lightly contested and that is crazy rattling to see a guard shoot on the first play of the game and make so you guys know how i play this game bro it's all about the p and r when i'm on a build that takes screens and i'm trying to just be safe i'm trying to not turn the ball over i hit Surzen wide open he doesn't take the shot he steps in takes the shot and that's fine with me because you guys know i'm trying to score trying to limit turnovers and get the ball in the basket especially early on when we don't need to get a three tries to dot my corner again i'm not really sure why i go for the pinch ah, and then i get dotted in the corner i did not get the steal i risked it i gambled it i did not get it i got a 96 steal i mean i went for the pinch i just did not get it and he dots me of course the lock greens it over to Surzen off the blowout dribble and we get another green in there, man. I don't have to do anything fancy. I don't have to dribble for 15 seconds. As long as the ball goes in, I'm happy. But Bauer tears it off chalk. Two guys on the same pro-am team playing each other. I try to hit Surgeon. He does not take the shot. We're trying to be safe here. I go back into the backcourt just to get a little reset. Try to dot the corner. They're playing good defense right here. Chalk is guarding ball. I'll give him some respect for that. I crab him, but I didn't want to shoot from half court. Okay, so I hit Surgeon again. They almost get the steal and right now we're in a broken play chalk gets the steal they take it down he gets a layup it is currently eight to five i'm pretty rattled bro that freaking fadeaway shot is wild they're getting a stop they're scoring off the break but i know that the game is not over yet we just have to lock in got to get some good screens and do what we got to do so i go down it's not there there's no reason to force the shot at the moment let's get another reset let's get some screens in we got eight seconds left i go behind the back off the triple threat over to surgeon wide open and that goes in, man. Surzen was locked in for this game. I'm throwing the passes at the right time. He slip popping, and we have a tie game right here, ladies and gentlemen, versus one of the best 2K League players ever. First legend in the game on Joe Knows team, but they're going to get a slip off. I don't know. I don't know how we didn't get that steal. Maybe he didn't reach at the right time, whatever. And they are just coming down and scoring pretty much at ease, right? Except for the first shot where I did make a miss, but they got the rebound. So. I'm in the ISO right now with the lockdown going down and look, 
What are you doing, Chalk? You got to stay on your mana hit, Surzen, but he misses in the corner, unfortunately. Although, he did just hit like two or three in a row. I don't know how I didn't get that steal off the back door, but they still have the ball. Slip. And it's 12 to 8. Now, at this point, we got to start switching up the game plan a little bit. I got to start looking for my shot. Even though I'm getting my teammates open, he had just made like two or three in a row. And sometimes you just can't make that many in a row on this game. So I step back wide open. And that's green. That is green. We got two-way tenacity popped up. So I'm like, okay, I might come out the corner and go for another pinch again and just gamble for something. They go back door. He doesn't throw it. Chalks wide open. He gets a bad catch. Almost greens it. We get the rebound. And then I'm just trying to be safe right here. I was going to throw it to Bauer, and then I just decided to bounce past it because I, I did not want to throw it to Bauer. Chalk is probably going to get that lane. I call for a back door, tell Surzen to stay up top, but they play good defense. That was a nice little play, and they played it correctly, but I go down and slam it on the five nine i told y'all bro my five nine is my main build i really win games out here with it it is a skill gap build it has very good attributes and if you're good enough to make it work it can work but off the stat back chalk is going to shoot that thing right away with confidence on his own pro-am teammate bro that is insane right there the, the second he had a sliver of an opening he takes it but i'm going down and dunking it they're miscommunicating i get stuck in the dunk animation right here and they are just trying to stop the three because i was passing a lot so i'm taking my dunk like i told you guys i don't gotta do anything fancy i don't care about hitting the nastiest combos sometimes and whatever if the ball goes in i'm happy with that and because of that we're at a 15 to 15 game the only time they've stopped us besides that steal was a wide open shot but look chalk almost gets the crab bauer tears it right off him again and then they get the steal right back i could not believe it man i was rattled in this game because it seemed like they were getting more of the 50 50s than we were but we gotta no thankfully he missed that shot but they get the rebound and put it back in I mean, every time we got a chance, they just come back once again. And I call for a Bauer backdoor, so we take our easy points once again because, you know, they've been backdooring me a lot. So I'm like, all right, let's test their backdoor. They played it good the last time when we did that little play where Bauer backdoored and Surgeon stayed up top because the center might drop on that. If you guys don't use that play, you got to use it. But anyway, we're in a tie game. 17-17, Chalk's running down, step back, Bauer misses the reach, but he's back locked onto him. He goes for another reach, and then they hit the slip, but Surgeon plays good defense, and we just cannot get it. Maybe I should have came down right there. They call a back door, and look at me. Oh, my gosh. Nothing was going our way, y'all. Nothing was going our way. He picks it up, lays it back in. It is 19 to 17. I feel like we've almost played perfect on offense and we're still losing this game, but I'm just going to go down and dunk it once again. They are really trying to stop Surzen from scoring. 19 to 19, though. Chalk shoots a fadeaway and misses the shot. Oh my gosh. Basically, the same shot he hit earlier, he missed right there. Thankfully, I call for a play and it's the same play. That didn't work earlier. That takes us home. A back door from Bauer. Surzen stay up top because they don't want to let that back door go in. You don't want to lose off that. And Surzen's wide open off the center drop, guys. We go 9 for 10. Only time we missed was off that wide open shot. They got a little fluke turnover. The other one was a little bad turnover at the end of a broken play. We played great. We almost lost the game. It was close, man. Click this right here if you guys want to see my five foot nine build. Go check it out. I'm telling you, it is a skill gap build. If you're good enough at the game, you can actually make it much better than most other builds, if that makes sense. All right, click it, tap it, whatever you got to do, and I'm out of here. You might as well, because I'm leaving, bro. Peace.